Hey everyone, how are y'all doing? My name is Nate, and today I'm here with a rocket jumping tutorial. So how this is going to work is in this first video I'm going to start off with the basics. I'll show you what keys to press, do like pogos and wall jumps and all that. And later on I'll make a more advanced video showing how to do the fun stuff like sinks and surfing up ramps and stuff. Now first off, I just want to say that rocket jumping is incredibly fun. Like whether you use it in actual games or whether you do it offline, it's still really fun to just rocket jump and fly around the map and all that kind of stuff. And also, you're gonna have to be really patient when you rocket jump. I've seen some people who are impatient when they jump and they get frustrated after they fail a few times, but you're going to fail. You're learning a new thing, you're learning how to rocket jump. Rocket jumping isn't super easy to do, you can't just like pick it up and immediately become good. I can guarantee that if you guys practice and put a lot of time into it, then you'll get really good and it'll be a whole lot of fun. Anyways, let's get on with the video. First off, we're going to start with the standard jump, of course. A standard jump is performed by looking straight down at the ground, and jumping, crouching, and shooting all at the exact same time. If you do it right, you should be able to fly up high into the air, just like that. If you look down at the ground and just shoot, you're obviously not going to go anywhere. If you jump and shoot, they're going to go a little bit higher, but you're not going to go the highest that you can go. Now if you look down, jump, and crouch and shoot all at the same time, then you're going to go a lot higher than you did before. And that's pretty much the basis for a standard rock jump. Now if you want to use a rocket jump to get up onto ledges and stuff, you just need to get a running start before you do the rocket jump. So you start running forward, I look down, jump, crouch, and shoot all at the exact same time, and I'll fly up and land on my desired location. Now there are a lot of different ways that you can actually do a normal rocket jump. It kind of depends where you aim and where you look at the ground. Like for example, if I look straight down, right below my feet, I'm just going to go fly straight up. And if I look to my side, then I can actually get a little bit more distance, but I won't fly as high as I did with the normal rocket jump. So it really just kind of depends where you're looking and how far you want to go. Personally, when I like to jump, I like to look a little bit to my side, but mostly down at my feet, so that way I can get a lot of distance and a lot of height at the exact same time. So yep, that's pretty much it for a standard rocket jump. You just need to practice pressing all of the buttons at once, and you'll get the hang of it really quick. Now next, we're going to be moving on to the wall jump. This one's pretty simple, it's basically just shooting off of a wall while you rocket jump. And this is how it's going to work. Now when you want to use the wall to get a lot of height, you need to make sure that you hold W while you're up against the wall or else you're going to fly off. So this is all the buttons you're going to be pressing. You hold W to hold yourself up against the wall, and you're going to jump, crouch, and shoot all at the same time. And all you have to do is just move your aim up a tiny bit, and you can get all the height that you need. As you can see, I almost went twice as high as I did with a normal rocket jump. This is going to be really important if you want to get to higher places or if you want to get more distance covered. Now there's a few ways you can actually do a normal wall jump. The first one is like what we did before where you just move your aim slightly upward. The second one is when you actually aim a lot more upward and you actually send yourself flying a whole lot farther than you would with a normal rocket jump. This is something important to know when you get into more complex jumps later on. Now another way to do a wall jump, and this is probably what you're going to be using the most, is when you use the wall to propel yourself forward. Now how this is done is when you're walking forward and you want to jump off a wall, you're going to turn to your right or to your left or whichever direction the wall is, and you're just going to aim behind you and jump and crouch all at the same time, and you'll actually launch yourself really fast forward. Now another thing to keep in mind is when you're going to shoot off of the wall, you're going to have to press the key that'll allow you to keep going forward. So if there was a wall on my right side and I was going to jump off it, I need to make sure I hold the A key once I face the wall, so I keep walking forward in the desired direction. That way I won't lose any speed as I'm walking forward. And you're going to be using this all the time when you need to get to the front of the line quickly. Now the last wall jump you need to know is getting a lot of height and a lot of distance at the same time. And this is going to be a little bit more complicated than ones before. When I'm doing a normal rocket jump up to the wall, I'm going to hold myself up against the wall with D, or whatever side of the wall you're on, and as I'm about to shoot, I'm going to quickly press A and shoot backwards off of the wall and propel myself off of it. And if I want to do a second jump off of the wall, I'm going to bring myself back with D, and as I'm about to shoot off, I'll press A again so I can move myself away from the wall. And basically, you're just going to repeat this over and over for how many jumps you need to do. Next up, I'm going to show you guys how to pogo. And basically what pogoing is, is when you look straight down the ground and you do really small jumps over and over, kind of like you're bunny hopping. And this is basically how it's going to be done. You're just going to look straight down at the ground, like you're about to do a normal rocket jump, and instead of pressing all of the keys at the same time, you're going to jump a little bit before you shoot. And as you start to fall to the ground, just hold down the firing button and keep looking straight down at the ground. And you can even make yourself gain more speed if you look in different directions. As you can see, if I make myself look a little bit more backwards, then I can propel myself forwards a little bit more and gain a lot more speed. As you can probably notice, this is going to be pretty pointless to use in actual games. But you need to know how to do this if you want to do more of the complex and fun jumps later on. Because in real games, you're going to be doing a lot of speed pogoing and stuff like that, so it's going to be really important to know. 
Later on in my advanced video, I'll show you guys how to do speed pogoing, which is a ton of fun to do. You actually get to use it more in matches and stuff. Next up, this is going to be one of the most important themes you have to take from this video, is strafing. And basically this is what strafing is, it's when you're moving through the air using both of your A and D keys and your mouse. So if you want to move left in the air while you're in a rocket jump, all you have to do is press the A key and move your mouse slowly to the left. And as you can see, we can move throughout the air just by pressing the A key. If you want to move to the right in the air, it's just the same thing, except you're holding down D, moving your mouse slowly to the right, just like that. Now this is going to be incredibly important to know when you're going to rocket jump. Because you're going to use it in every jump regardless or not if it's super simple. And you're even going to use this with all the other classes. And it's just really important when you're rocket jumping. The last tip I'm going to give you guys is remember not to press W while you're in the air, or else it'll slow you down a whole lot. Just use A and D so you can strafe throughout the air left and right. The rocket itself is going to give you all the speed that you need. I would also suggest searching for jump servers that where you can just go practice rocket jumps. There's a lot of maps out there that are made specifically for rocket jumping. And you can actually learn a ton just from playing all these maps and figuring out what you need to do. Another great way to learn is to just create your own server and spend time by yourself jumping around the map. That way you'll learn some actual jumps that you can use in real games. And if you're going to create your own server, I would suggest using a script that I'm going to link in the description. And basically what this does is it gives you all your health and all your ammo back, plus you won't ever have to reload, which is really nice. I'd also suggest getting a rocket jumper if you don't have one, since you don't take any damage when you shoot a rocket. And lastly, all you guys need to do is just practice all of the time. Whether it's in an actual game or not, just have fun doing it and learn something from it. It can turn out to be pretty useful in a lot of situations. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you learned even a little bit from this video. And if not, then fine. Rocket jumping is still fun, you should go practice it. Later on, I'll make a more advanced video showing the really fun stuff to rocket jumping. Or maybe even a bigger bazooka jumping video. I don't know, we'll see. But until then, I will see you guys next time.